Hey all, welcome to my video on the fixed income for uh, MATLAB and we are going to look at some of the applications of MATLAB for fixed income. Now, uh, we are going to look at three things in this small presentation. We are going to look at mortgage-backed securities, debt instruments. And in their instruments, we have focused on two things. One is the LIBOR and other are those bills. So LIBOR is the instrument used for less than one year and bills are um, for more than one year for the Treasury. Then we'll have a look at the interest rate pricing instruments. So when you're dealing with MATLAB, be careful with spaces and brackets because uh, if you don't put a space or if you don't uh, close the brackets right you will face trouble in running those programs so the entire framework uh, that we work would be based on function structures constructors indexing and graph let me talk a little bit about them so MATLAB has got its own uh, pre-built functions which uh, perform on an input and gives you an output so the input uh, could be uh, most of the times a structure, it could be an array, it could be a matrix and same with the output so we can get any number of input and any number of output. Now these functions in MATLAB are pre-built so it makes your life easy. Now structures <coughs> are, a uh, are a group of variables, it could be a uh, string number so it's a, it's a group of data which is uh, in a systematic way so th those are the structures then we have the constructors which uh, creates a skeleton uh, that could be used to fill in the data so it will define uh, all those headings uh, in itself so the these are the three things that uh, are used uh, in the toolboxes and a little knowledge about all of the three helps you to uh, make your life easy in MATLAB the other two things uh, beyond these is indexing and graphs so indexing is uh, about uh, extracting data from metrics or extracting data systematically based on some logic from the structures and metrics so maybe you uh, need some data that exceeds a, um, a particular value or uh, you need to flip around something or you need to uh, get a row or get a column or you need to uh, uh, get something uh, based on some logic so in that case uh, indexing becomes important and then finally we have the graphs uh, where you can uh, draw the graphs in MATLAB of your data. So you can draw various graphs that you can think of, 2D graphs, 3D graphs, the same way as it works in uh, the Excel. So the MBS topics that uh, that is covered in the fixed income toolbox of MATLAB uh, are mostly based on uh, the CFA and FRM level 2 syllabus so they talk about uh, the prepayment rates they talk about uh, uh, the option adjusted spread they talk about the callable and the putable bond and the pricing of MBS on various interest rate parts so th those are some of the things that we see again here in MATLAB and uh, bootstrapping which is finding out the intermediate uh, interest rate from uh, the set of interest rate that we have so these are uh, the two concepts that uh, are generally given to us. So we'll see uh, a little bit about them and how MATLAB can help us. So in MBS we have two parameters. One is the conditional prepayment rate and single monthly mortality rate. So CPR is the percent of outstanding principal prepaid in one year and SSM is uh, the percent of outstanding principal paid in one month. So CPR is an annual version of SMM. So in mortgage uh, backed securities we assume that some amount of uh, 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 the principal is uh, repaid and we use these models. So uh, we assume that uh, the prepayment increases for a constant period and uh, by in increase by a constant value for some years and then it becomes constant. So this is uh, what we uh, uh, assume. So we can generate these uh, uh, PSA models. Uh, sorry prepayment models and uh, we can do it in this way so uh, PSA speed 100 comma 200 and CPR comma SMM pa, uh, PSAS uh, PSA speed to rate 
so by this uh, we can generate the prepayment vectors of 100 and 200 type okay so we need to understand that most of uh, the functions in mortgage back security would uh, will have some input so uh, these functions could have input which uh, could be the configuration of bond or it could be like inputting uh, the coupon rate, the settlement uh, date, the uh, issue date, the maturity date and uh, uh, the prepayment vector. So these are the various inputs that could uh, be there in the function. So uh, when you look at it in a broad way, those functions that are used in MBS will have some of the, these things as input and the other as output. So we can compute uh, various parameters. Okay, these are some of the commands that we see for cash flows and uh, PSA. Then we have also a command for duration and modified duration. So if you closely observe, we have uh, the year duration and the modified duration as the output. And the function name is MBS DURP. The input is price, settlement date, maturity, issue date, gross date, coupon rate, delay and speed. So I've been talking about most of the time these are the inputs uh, that we give in the functions of MBS. So we can, <coughs> we are going to see in details that uh, uh, some of these things are uh, just a single element and many of the time the other things are matrix or structures. So it works something like this. So we have the price, settlement date, the date uh, num functions create uh, uh, a numeric equivalent for the date so it will create a numeric uh, equivalent for uh, these dates which are given to us similarly Excel also I think assumes 1 gen 1900 as 1 and 2 gen 1900 and 2 and so on so that's how uh, they work here then we have the cross rate coupon rate delay speed and uh, when we give this input we can compute the duration then we have the option adjusted spread uh, the MBS price to OS so as you know in option adjusted spread we uh, find out uh, the spread which is there so uh, the input to this uh, function is zero matrix price settlement maturity issue date gross date coupon rate delay interpolation type and prepayment speed so you can look at the option adjusted spread on Wikipedia so date num just a quick uh, overview converts date and time to serial date number you can check out uh, more on the link below okay let's look at this uh, the first element and try to understand how uh, MATLAB works in terms of uh, the multiplication of uh, the numbers that we have so we are dividing 1 dot divided by 1 to 6 transpose so what we are doing is that we are creating 1 to 6 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 we are taking a transpose of them and uh, we are taking a, uh, a, a an inverse of that number so the first number would be 1 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 and 1 by 6 and we are multiplying each element uh, these by 0 0.25 so you need to understand uh, the division uh, the meaning of this transpose and dot so if we have dot it's an element by element uh, division or multiplication just remember this thing so we could multiply things in a matrix way we could multiply thing in an element to element way now these are some bonds and configuration so in debt instruments we have treasury bill and uh, we can compute uh, the yields of a treasury bill we can uh, use the uh, zero coupon uh, sorry we can use the treasury of the available time frames and we can uh, compute the spot of other times we can compute the stepped coupon bond uh, instruments we can also do term structure calculations so we know that uh, 
there are a few rolling uh, treasury bills which are around but we need to uh, find out the spot and forwards of other rates so treasury bills are short term securities issued uh, with maturities of one year or less sold by united states treasury and they are sold uh, frequently usually weekly a zero coupon bond is a corporate treasury or municipal debt instrument that pays no periodic interest and redeem that full value so matlab helps you to create the term structure and term structure starts with a series of on the run securities and you can create the other uh, elements that you would like to compute so many of the times you download these things from bloombox website uh, but uh, you can also do it using matlab by pulling in the right data so you can compute uh, the spot rates of whatever time you want to it's called the bootstrapping technique it's there in cfa level 2 and frm and we compute the spot rates for different time periods and they there are various ways to inter interpolate these things and when we look at derivatives based on fixed income we have pricing and hedging convertible bond valuation and treasury bond futures now when we look at convertible bond valuation it's uh, it's it could be a callable or a puttable as well as convertible bonds so things become quite uh, tricky so we have to define an interest rate path and go ahead and do that calculation so you might have studied the binomial model and we built a simple two year binomial model for the convertible bonds and when the price uh, is higher then uh, the conversion ratio into the stock price will probably convert it and based on that uh, uh, we can compute whether it's going to be converted or not so it all depends on the uh, interest rate paths that we take so the functions here could be uh, of convertible bond derivative security interest rate uh, objects mortgage backed security option adjusted spread computation step coupon bond treasury bills treasury bond futures and zero coupon instrument fixed income toolbox software provides tool for analyzing term structure of interest rate including bootstrapping and fixing the term structure to market data using parametric models Nelson Segal and Stevenson's fine based models and use defined function fixed income toolbox supports three class objects so as we understand that interest rate uh, uh, paths are the most important uh, elements that we need to compute for the uh, computation of uh, uh, all our uh, instruments so we'll try to uh, give weights to all these paths and depending on that we compute the values of each path and take an average of that so then there is treasury bond futures and forward so when um, in some computation like in pension computation we want to find out the forward rates for uh, a quarter or the forward rate for one year of us treasury to make some adjustments then we can compute the treasury bond futures as well as forward so uh, that's an a thing that we would require then we have the option adjusted spread you can also link out uh, check out some of the uh, uh, collateralized debt obligation uh, links on matlab's website so there are some things for that as well let's look at a code for term structure calculation this is an example in matlab so we have defined uh, the bonds that we have in the market on the top then we have defined the yields now we are ready to compute the spot rate for each of these six maturities so spot rate is based on 17th jan 2003 
so we can compute the forward rate by using 0 to forward for any time duration that we want to so we'll get us forward rate interpolated between uh, uh, various six uh, once or one year whichever we decide to I'm going to run these programs in MATLAB probably in my next video when we are going to directly compute uh, these things in MATLAB so here I wanted to just sensitize you on the things that we do in fixed income in MATLAB and how it makes sense for us so I think this would be it for this lecture very small lecture probably the next time I want to jump into some practical cases and we'll try to uh, do these things in MATLAB thank you for watching this video and for more details you can contact uh, Arpit or myself for uh, uh, more info on how you can use MATLAB or for fixed income thank you and bye bye